Hi again, Rucha. Hi. Um, so let's get started with the interview. Uh, your client is a petrol pump owner, and they have seen declining profits. And they want to know what is happening, and if something can be done about it. So where is our petrol pump based out of? Uh, so this petrol pump is on um, is on the Delhi Chandigarh highway. Okay. And how many petrol pumps are there on this highway, apart from ours? Mm, no, this is the only petrol pump. So. And uh, so I'm saying as the petrol pump will be selling petrol and diesel as well. Are there any other revenue streams? Yes, sure. Water? There is. Um, there's a car wash. Okay. Um, there's a convenience store. Yeah, that's oh, it. Coming in. Convenience store. Car wash and petrol and diesel. You're right about those two. And since how long have we seen a decline in profits? Um, past one year. So I'll just take some time to. Sure, please do. The candidate asks good preliminary questions to understand the case context. She also gathers that the profit started declining a year ago, which indicates it might have been a specific event which has triggered this. Here on, the focus should be to understand what changed a year back. So, uh, has the revenue increased or decreased over the past Revenue month? has decreased. Okay, revenue has decreased. And what about the costs? Costs have decreased slightly as well. So, as the costs have decreased, it does not seem to be a problem for our profits. So, can I focus more on the revenue? Let's focus right on the revenues. Not look at costs. So has the pricing of any of our particular good, be it any of the four, changed over the past um, one year? Okay, so um, pricing, none of the prices have changed. None no. of the prices. And what about the quantity of petrol or diesel units sold? Has it, have we reduced it from our end or has it been the customer end problem where they haven't been approached? Oh, we haven't been, uh, we haven't been selling enough fuel. Petrol and diesel. So Both. there's a reduction in the quantity yes. of units sold. So we haven't been able to sell. Is that the thing, or we haven't been uh, haven't sold? We, what do you mean by we haven't been able to sell? As in we haven't been able to meet the demands of the consumer as in it's our side okay. of a problem, a supply side of a problem. Or is it that the number of customers has been reduced? The number of customers has in fact reduced. There is no problem with respect to the supply. So I can say that the supply chain of my petrol pump is sorted. So we can look at the customer side of it yes. and analyze why there have been less customers. So, what sort of customers do we get at our petrol pump generally? What do you mean, what sort um, of? Are there cars, trucks, buses? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a highway. So, apart from two-wheelers, there's everything. Uh, and it, the primarily cars, trucks and buses. So, do we know what sort of transport has reduced? Has it cars only which has reduced or the trucks and buses? Mm, the number of cars have reduced. So as the trucks and buses haven't reduced, you can say that um, 
only the passengers who used to travel in this route has reduced so there might be are you sure um, um because trucks and buses are running okay. for trucks as in i like can come for goods so i could say that sure the passengers the number of passengers has reduced has reduced yes so uh, as delhi and chandigarh is a uh, big enough route between two main cities then we can say that the number of people that travel on this route would not change who okay to travel in this route so uh i mean what, 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 what are you routes. what are you getting at could you so, tell me give me a sense yeah, of what so you will be looking into as the customers have reduced i would look at it into two brackets one is that there is no need for a delhi chandigarh transport right now okay. but which i think is it possible because as there are two major cities um, which is unlikely is required so that's unlikely so the other aspect is that there might have been some alternate modes of transport available to our customers alternate mode of transport okay so and it's our route so there might be some parallel highways built maybe okay apart from our route so sure so there is no parallel highway that's being built um and to clarify the first point there are no uh, number of people going from delhi and chandigarh have stayed the same yeah. um what has happened though is um, an airline has started frequent shuttles between uh, delhi okay. and chandigarh so that seems a very major reason of our uh, decline in profits because of the airline route it's very likely that many of our Uh, passengers have shifted mm-hmm. using the shuttle. So Fair enough. Yeah, that is that has that in fact was happened. Good. Anything That's else? No, I'd say that seems to be the core reason of the decline in our profits. The candidate does well to focus on the revenue branch. What she could have done better is to find out which of the business lines have shown a bigger drop. Although in this case it turned out to be the fuel business, it's always good to voice that you're looking into what you think has caused the majority of the decline in profits in all likelihood. Within the fuel bracket, she does well to break the driver down mathematically, although it doesn't show on her paper. It was impressive how the candidate analyzed the drop in volumes from sourcing fuel to selling it to the end user. It's a useful trick since the case problem could very well have been about production constraints or some issue with the distribution network. She also does well to break down the traffic, the reduced traffic, into overall reduction in traffic between the cities and possibility of an alternative route. It would have been even better had she analyzed passengers per car. More people traveling together over the past year in cabs or in carpools is definitely a possibility. Sure. All right. Can you um, synthesize, wrap up the case for me? Um, so I realized uh, from my analysis that. there has been no change in our supply chain the way you, we we used to function earlier and the way we function now so it doesn't look like um, our supply chain problem so i we decided to look at our consumers and we realized that an alternate route between delhi and chandigarh has caused a shift of focus from passengers from our route to the airline which is why our petrol pump is suffering from declining profits Okay. That seems to be the. And what are your recommendations? Okay. As we are the only uh, petrol pump in this entire route, and it is obviously a necessity for people traveling there, so we can increase the pricing of our. Uh, petrol and diesel and car wash or convenience store because we know that our customers will have to come to this because they okay. do not have any the other petrol and diesel prices uh, can't be controlled by us uh, they're centrally man uh, they're decided by uh, the state government so we could definitely increase the price for car wash and okay whatever is available in the convenience store so that could maybe help us you know recover those. okay so all right would you would you recommend uh, the client move out of this business entirely then we would have to look at where they could but then do you feel like it makes sense for I'd, them to stay in this business uh, stay i'd say uh, because we are a monopoly it is a good enough uh, 
investment because the trucks and buses and goods and all they won't shift to airline any time so we'd still have a ready influx of that okay fair enough okay thank you Thank you.